Hey guys, Kid Gear here today, and today I just want to talk about uh, how to save life on uh, battery life, I should say, on Vista, and uh, going through some physical ways you can do it and some software related ways. Uh, and so I'm going to pull the notes up here. So, first off, let's talk about some default settings that you can do to uh, save battery life, because I know uh, most of you have a laptop. Some of you, uh, like if you have a laptop like mine, the battery lasts you maybe one to two hours, maybe even three if you got tweaked, okay. But, um, some uh, manufacturers will provide like a interface panel, like mine did with the Intel panel. They provided a whole thing where I can turn down L uh, brightness and stuff like that. Some you just have to go in and tweak the settings. So if you're first, uh, if you got a new laptop and you're on Vista, first I would recommend uh, something I showed in an older video of mine a long, long time ago. If you double click on your battery and you say more power options. So first off, um, I'm usually on power saver when I'm not plugged into a charger just because the performance goes down but the battery life goes increasingly up or you can balance it whatever you like to do but if you actually go over here and go to where is it here uh... you can adjust the display brightness we'll talk about a little bit later on but you can create your own power plan which we want to talk about right here if you do that it will allow you to click your own and mess around with that as you like you know make your own custom plan uh... adjusting it so you can do that too Whatever you want to do, and you can even some some manufacturers have their own HP recommended plan. So if you click on Change Plan Settings here, it's gonna show you what you can mess around with. And uh, I would, what I do, I turn my display off every 10 minutes on battery and plug in, and if it's I put it to sleep 15 15. Now, actually, what I should do when it's on battery, I'm gonna turn the brightness down. That pretty much saves it. I'm gonna save that. So that way, when I unplug the battery, my screen LCD will drop all the way down to the lowest setting. That way. That will physically help the battery life and not allow it, you know, the LCD is a huge part of battery life. It has to use that then. If it's all lowered, then uh, it won't be consuming as much battery and you can have a longer, you know, longer lasting laptop for whatever your needs are. So mess around with the default settings, select a power plan, stuff like that. But now I want to talk about a software I recently found out called Vista Battery Saver. This is from the Vista blog and also codeplex.com. So you have to download the public beta R R2 plus RC1. So these are the beta version and I have it downloaded right here I'm gonna go ahead and open it now if you click it right here it's gonna tell you if Windows Arrow is disabled or de uh, inactive or always deactivate on the battery or never deactivate it I have have mine to always because I never really use Arrow and it does can take up a huge amount of your RAM which will all in all pretty much decrease your battery life even faster so if you open it here if you uh, always deactivate Arrow or you know you can mess around with it so you can set it so it deactivates arrow on its own when the battery is under 30, 20, 50 percent whatever you want it to do I just have mine always deactivate and you can even make the sidebar have uh, stuff like that so when the battery goes under 20 you can make the sidebar disable automatically so you can mess around with that if you want just the reason mine's grayed out is because I have my sidebar completely disabled so um, again here's when it comes to plans again power plan management on battery I'm using power saver and when I'm plugged into a charger at my house I'm using high performance and when I'm on the go usually I'll bring my laptop uh, to places and if it's on yeah, I see a uh, not too much of a performance wise like I see it kinda slow down somewhat when I'm on power saver compared to high performance but I do see a huge increase maybe like I would get like uh, almost 30 to 50 minutes of extra battery life which is a lot uh, you know uh, you can disable these notifications that this uh, thing pops up it tells you when it disables arrow or disables sidebar and it tells you the current statuses and you can even make the battery thing start up at startup which I like to do because obviously when I'm starting up my computer I want that running so I uh, hope you guys check that out that software is really really great I'll give the link in the video description so moving on to a little bit more again I talked about arrow tweaks if you have uh, my arrow is completely disabled but if you do have arrow when you're on the go you may want to think about disabling it because you really don't need the eye candy looks you know obviously when you're on the go you want to get your work done and uh, you know surfing whatever you want to make you want that to last longer. So again, I already talked about physically. LCD is one of the most important things you can do. You can also watch your apps. How much you know stuff your applications are running in the background. If you really don't need stuff running in the background, disable it. Maybe your essentials will be like your uh, antivirus software. You can use that obviously. Uh, um, and you know main stuff like your touchpad driver. Other than that, uh, I mean you may not even need some stuff like uh, maybe you may not even need wireless. Because being you know reason being because of uh, maybe you're on a hardline connection you just have no charger or if you're on wireless then you can you know keep that on obviously so if you're not on wireless turn that off because that will save a, 
a reasonable amount of battery and if you have like a little switch for a wireless you can turn that off too so turn off all your background apps that are running in your tray stuff you really don't need can consume uh, a, little, a little bit of battery life not much but again uh, you know each bit helps so again I've talked about ports and devices before if you go into your start run and go to device mngmt dot actually easier way to get to this I'll just if you go to or not easier way but if you go to start control panel and go over to let me make sure I'm going to the right place here I believe it's in system and maintenance pretty sure and then go into uh, what is it device management device manager down here just click that and we'll wait for it to open if you you can disable actually disable ports and stuff that you're not using this saves a really really good amount of uh, battery life reason being it doesn't have to give power out to essential ports like USB ports, firewire ports, um, you know, uh, even you can even disable CD drives, stuff like that. And then since it doesn't have to give out power to those, you know, devices, your battery life is going to be, you know, extended. So you can even do it to uh, Ethernet ports and stuff like that. So just go through, you click the little extension arrow here, or the little plus sign. Don't disable anything like your processors, obviously. You can disable stuff like if you have a VGA extra port for a dual monitor. Uh, that, you know, and since power doesn't have to go out to that, you can turn that off. Uh, when I'm on the go, I usually turn off my maybe like two USB ports because I have one essential one that, you know, pen drive, whatever, on when I'm on the go. I turn off all my other ones. Um, turn off my hardline connection if I'm wireless. I turn off my wireless drivers if I'm on, you know, hardline. Um, and. If I'm using, obviously, if I'm using a, I don't need to use a monitor, I disable that. And just some other stuff like that that really, you know, really has no use to. If I don't need a CD drive, I'll disable that. Just for the time being, that way I really do get the uttermost top performance and extended battery life. And this is really helpful, especially when I'm on, uh, not trips, I guess trips in the car, or, you know, uh, I guess if you're flying, it's really helpful. Because all these combined, hardware, uh, physically, plus software, guys, it's really, really gonna give you like a almost an I can almost say probably almost an hour longer of battery life just making all these tweaks so guys uh, check out make sure you mess with your default settings when you get Vista you might want to check out the Vista battery saver from the Windows blog tweak around with your arrow settings uh, tweak around with your LCD brightness when you're on the go make sure you have no unnecessary apps running in the background that'll help a little bit turn off wireless if you're not using it and mess around with your ports and devices and disable those if not needed. You can enable them later on if you need to. So guys, uh, again, I hope this helped out. Uh, sorry I haven't been making many videos lately, but uh, you can always head over to the site www.adrianstech.com to see my blog post. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash kidguru for my updates. Head over to our site at, also at www.weurl.com. And any questions, concerns, comments, uh, video responses, video, you know, requests send them over to adrianstech at gmail.com thanks guys hope you enjoyed the video i will catch you later